hey guys welcome back to my channel so i know i look crazy but in today's video we're going to be actually doing my hair i'm gonna wash it i'm gonna do a hot oil treatment a tea rinse treatment and i'm going to style my hair which brain freeze brain fart whatever i'm gonna style my hair into rope twist so these are the products i'm gonna be using these products are called shea butter and um, basically, Shea Butter, let's see, it says they have developed a range of products from natural emollients, such as butter and oils. I don't know if I said that word right. And are derived from plant nuts and seeds. They are rich in phytonutrients, antioxidant, and plant proteins, plant proteins, essential fatty acids, and nutrients that will nourish your scalp while stimulating hair growth. So, you know, I'm down for anything that's organic. So, I already know I'm going to like these products because that's just like, the type of person I am. I just like anything that's natural and support black businesses because that's what we do okay so here's the tea i'm gonna leave the link down below so you can see all the type of um leaves and roots and stuff that this uses but i actually have already used the tea to drink it actually but you also you can use it on your hair you can drink it so i'm gonna use it on my hair and i'm also gonna drink it so that's that but i've already used that so then we have the finishing oil with prickly pear and other great ingredients. So I'm gonna use this for my retwist. And then we have the lock and twist jelly. I'm gonna show you all these products when I use them, so. And then the Herbal Medley Shampoo. I've already opened it and tested it out. It smells like peppermint, I love it. And then we have the Prickly Herbal Hydration. This is what I'm gonna to use to do my hot oil treatment. And it came in this cute little box, as you can see. So, um, yeah, first thing I'm gonna do right now is wash my hair and then show you how I do the treatment for the oil and then prepare the tea and stuff on camera. So this is going to be a pretty long video, but I hope you enjoy. And then also these are the locks that I've combined. Remember I told you that I combined locks. So now I have 77 because it's three total combined and I twisted them and then used a needle so that I wouldn't have to put a rubber band at the end. So as you can see, they're kind of stuck together because I used the needle, but the pattern is still there. So they weren't kind of instant lock, but um, eventually it should, it should fade. So I'll see you when I'm done washing my hair. So this is what it looks like after I've washed my hair with the shampoo. I was actually, where is it at? I was actually surprised because when I used it, oh my God, my glasses are fogging up. It looks like peanut butter. Like when you, I don't want to squirt it out and waste any, but like the color is brown and it looks like peanut butter. And um, I was surprised that it actually makes a lot of suds because usually, my locks get really oily because I use a lot of oil. So most of the shampoos I use, it takes a lot of washes to, um, this one didn't, which is surprising because most like of the natural ones I use, they take a lot of multiple washing to make it bubbly. Even the ones that are not natural, like the, um, what is it called? OG Nick Sups, whatever product that is, that one does the same thing. And that one's like supposed to be, you know, a sulfate shampoo so it should make bubbles but um next what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make the tea and do a rinse because it's a leave-in treatment so that's what i'm gonna do and the treatment oil you're supposed to do this um on wash day you wet your hair this is apply a generous amount and then leave it for an hour but i don't have an hour of time right now so i'm gonna do another video with this doing just a separate hot oil treatment because I'm styling my hair, I don't want to take forever. And um, I don't really do hot oil treatments on my hair. I just kind of warm up the oil and leave it. So I'm gonna use the oils, both of them. I'm gonna warm this one up, but I'm not gonna rinse it. So that's what I'm gonna do with these. And then I'm gonna retwist my hair with this. So I'm gonna make the tea, show you me rinsing. I'm just gonna pour, it tells you how much to use. So I'm just gonna boil it and then come back on camera. Okay, so I'm, I'm in my kitchen now, this. These are the roots. I didn't have like a, what is that thing called? Whatever the thing is to like strain it. A strainer, yeah. I didn't have one, so I used this. And um, I'm gonna show you. Like I said, let me show you. I really do do this, you see. You can see it's like a brown reddish color and um, that's the hibiscus that makes it red. I put ice and I put it in the freezer. It's a very bitter tea. Anyways. I warmed up some of the oil. I mixed both the oils. And this is what I'm gonna use for my hair as well. So because my roommate's in the bathroom, I'm gonna rinse my hair now with this 
tea. I'm really nervous about this because I don't, I've never done this. Hopefully it doesn't leave my hair sticky because that's my fear that it's gonna leave my hair, Bebo. That is gonna leave my hair sticky, so. Okay, now the tea is better. I'm just so nervous. Then I'm gonna do the back and the side. Trying to make sure it goes on my scalp because that's what's important. So hopefully it didn't get in my hair, but that's that. So I finished most of my hair. I just have, well, yeah, mostly all of it. And I have these two locks, and because now I have 77 lock, I had to make this lock into a three-strand twist. So anyways, I've used the flaxseed to twist my entire hair. Um, I like it so far because when I make my own flaxseed, it's pretty flaky immediately. I will be able to see the flakes. But once it starts drying and this hasn't been flaky, so that's a good thing. And my hair feels, um, doesn't feel sticky after I did the tea. It does not feel sticky at all. And it's had enough time to dry because these logs are kind of dry. So it doesn't feel sticky. I'm surprised. Don't know, I just thought tea would make it sticky. And then, um, yeah, this is me twisting, twisting. So if I have 77 locks, that means right now I have like, like 40 something twist in my hair. Well, no, I don't know, 77 divided by two. 35 plus 35 is 60, 70. So like 38 and a half. I don't know. Somebody do the math for me. I'm supposed to be a nurse. Okay. Let's see. I didn't twist the correct way. See, when you don't twist the correct way, that happens. So let's see what I did wrong. I did this one on top. So I'm going to do this one on the bottom. This way instead like I put that rubber band. Okay. So I've already been putting oil as I go because I don't like to wait till the end. Um, because I feel like I can't really get into each roll as good as I could if I went if I um fold it as I go. So yeah. Do y'all feel like I have thick locks? Because I be feeling like my locks are not thick. Like before they're twisted. Like in this style, obviously they're thick. But then for my locks to be this thick, I'd have to have 30 something dreads, which I would not want to have. 30 something locks or whatever. Okay. They look so short. The oil here, I didn't put oil here. So just put a little bit like that because I do oil throughout the month so i don't like to put too much oil if it's um too much oil like right soon as i retwist and obviously you can use oil on your skin so just spread the oil out i have like a little bit of residue from maybe the gel so i'm gonna rinse actually that out Anyways, I literally love these products. Love, like 10 out of 10 because 
my hair smells like earth my scalp feels light it doesn't feel heavy i hate a heavy scalp because no one wants the scalp to feel dirty after you just wash your hair so it feels really light um i'm gonna show you how it looks and you tell me what you think what you think the tea did to my hair And those are my roommate's product. But oh, that's the product that I said I've used before. That brand. And no bubbles. So I'm going to show you the back from this angle. And that looks great. Great, baby, great. <laughs>